Hello Gemini, Gemini Rising, and Gemini Moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting August 14th, 2017. And just a quick reminder for a lot of you uh, Gemini people out there, this is for Gemini. I don't know if I said Taurus on accident at the beginning, but I'll say Gemini because people write comments. Um, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always go to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or just simply follow the links below. That's the same place you'd go to get a copy of the Tarot Home Study course if you want to download that and start working on that. So what is going on with your astrology this week? Well, this week, um, on Tuesday, we've got Venus in your earned income sector, forming an opposition to Pluto, currently retrograde, in your eighth house of shared resources and passive income. And it does look to me like there may actually be a bit of a challenge on the economic front that we have to look at here. Um, you may actually be the winner in a conflict with um, either a colleague uh, or some kind of agency that you actually have some kind of financial arrangement with, but it will be a battle you will have to fight to win all, all, nonetheless. Usually with Venus, we have a problem with people suddenly acting differently um, because of good fortune coming our way. Now, this could be colleagues not being so uh, thrilled for us uh, because uh, maybe we are making leaps and bounds, you know, and maybe we, we don't have the seniority that they do, and that creates a bit of, uh, you know, a, a bit of envy, a bit of jealousy. Um, this could be a situation where we may actually have an opportunity for a raise or an opportunity for a bolster in our earning potential, but again, with that Pluto retrograde in the 8th house, this could also, you know, cause people to want to pile more on our plate than is proportionate because of that. Now, it, whatever good fortune is bringing up this negative energy doesn't mean it's a negative situation, okay? Don't poo-poo the good thing just because it may bring out some bad in some other people. On Thursday, we've got Venus in that very same area of your second house of earned income, forming a square to Jupiter, currently in your fifth house of love and romance. And it looks like there could be some really, really good news coming to both you and a sweetheart this week when it comes to your finances and the expansion of finances in the couple and in the home. But it will actually create a bit of a challenge when, you know, it may be pulling us apart from one another and our availability from one another. Uh, for a short time. Um, luckily, this will only be probably for the duration of Jupiter's stay in Libra, which goes up until about uh, August 5th, I mean August 5th, October 5th, so less than two months. It is purely optional, squares are optional, but this could be a way to bolster both of your finances. However, it may again uh, distance us a little bit. We may actually notice our availability lessening, but you know, it is actually for, um, you know, again, the, the, the improvement of your guys' respective financial situations. So you're going to have to talk it out and see if it's worth it. So, what's going on with your cards this week? For your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the Air Dragon. And the Air Dragon, you know, talks a lot about a need to pay attention to where um, this week, you know, logic, reason, and the left brain are going to be the problem solvers. Um, and that may actually be a hard thing to look at every once in a while. Because have you, you, we've all been in those situations where sometimes people who are having a hard time, uh, maybe they're emotionally hurt, they're upset, they're angry, frustrated, whatever. Logic and reason is not the first place a lot of people want to go. You know, they kind of want to go into doing the dance of I get mad, so you get mad, and we'll work all these feelings out. But the air dragon is talking about a need to pay attention to where some people may be sort of overindulging that, the you know, the, the feeling uh, energy or the feeling place and not actually doing enough in the way of productivity. Okay, what's the point in having a business meeting about what we're going to do to fix things when all everyone is doing is venting the whole damn time? Um, the same can go, you know, we've all have friends and relatives who drain our energy because all they want to do is vent, you know, for months or for years without actually taking any forward action. And the air dragon is talking about not only accountability, but again, logic and reason being more, we, 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 this needs to be a week of solving, not a week of venting. And, you know, whether that's how you take approaches to preserve and conserve your own energy and your own productivity by, you know, making sure that we're not spending too much time in the venting world or, or, or just being vented at or doing it ourselves, or proposing quick and, you know, again, efficient solutions and then working out the feelings later once the threat has passed. For your Earth sector, when it comes to work and finances, we do have the Three of Cups upright. 
definitely a wonderful card for, you know, for the finances and for work and money because the Three of Cups does indicate a team working for you. Um, and possibly with the Three of Cups upright, you know, a lot of you who are looking for a new job may actually find yourself working alongside somebody you've worked with before. Um, or somebody that you are close to. Somebody, um, a, a person from your friendship circle may actually hook you up. You may be actually working at a place that he or she knows somebody or where he or she works. And the Three of Cups can also indicate, <clears throat> you know, a wonderful opportunity for a lot of you guys to actually take the time this week to maybe even um, get some extra coin becoming better friends with a client or a customer or somebody you work with on the regular. This is definitely a networking card, and it does talk a lot about, again, some, some very important um, breakthroughs for you that come through being more socially available. Now, again, remember the jealousy and issues factor that came with the, with the Venus opposite Pluto. Not everyone is going to be happy that you kind of, you know, made it into or formed this, you know, this great circle. However, it may still be something you want to endeavor. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, the others in your life, we do have the hanged man upright. And the hanged man can indicate um, a, a bit of a challenge when it comes to a friend or a relative who has decided to get up on the fence um, about whether or not they're actually able to pick a side, whether they're picking a side in a conflict, picking a side uh, when it comes to um, you know making a plan or a decision that everyone needs to commit to, or maybe even, you know, taking, you know, kind of taking themselves out of, you know, taking their vote out of a situation that requires all votes. Um, usually with the hangman upright, we've got to pay attention to the fact that this person may not be contributing very much because it may actually be for the best that they don't contribute. If somebody does choose, does, does opt to be left out or doesn't trust their, the information they've received about the, the information to make a cohesive decision and they choose to defer, uh, that information to you or perhaps anyone else there, sometimes that's okay. Sometimes that's not being lazy, that sometimes that's not being irresponsible. Sometimes it's better to do that than to flip a coin and make the wrong decision. So they're putting their trust in you. It may not necessarily be a decision you want to make for them, but they may be asking you to because they may not trust the information that they have. So use that power wisely. Don't abuse it. All right, don't abuse it. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Six of Pentacles upright. Again, don't abuse power given to you. Uh, but the Six of Pentacles can talk about a need to pay attention to where we put our attention when we are being generous, when we are being helpful, when we are being kind. Um, and with the, you know, with the Six of Pentacles, it's always talking about a need to pay attention to, okay, are we going to focus on what is deserving? Are we going to discern what is or who is more deserving? Or we are we going to give to that which um, is the most loud, or the most obnoxious, or the most needy. You know, the Six of Pentacles, um, traditionally, when it's not showing cute kitties, um, does show a picture, you know, of somebody who is basically having to choose who to be generous with, you know, with coin with, or with energy with. You know, is it the, the, the really needy, clawing person who's, you know, just trying to get all the attention in the world, or is it the person who's humbly asking with, with, with some nobility and some grace? You know, and that's kind of what we got to pay attention to in our own lives. You know, is the squeaky wheel really broken, or is it trying to pull attention away from something that really does need our help? And that may be something hard to do, you know, because we do get caught in those situations. We all have those people in our lives who seem like they need more help because they're more dramatic about it. And the ones who really need our help are probably the ones plugging away, again, holding it down, and aren't even asking for help. But they may be the ones who deserve it. <clears throat> For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Ace of Pentacles upright. Beautiful card uh, for love and romance because it does indicate the opportunity to start seriously planting some roots. And when I look at the Ace of Pentacles, though, I also look and see, okay, this harkens back to what we saw with the, uh, you know, with, with, with the astrology for Thursday. Some kind of big financial breakthrough is coming to both you and a partner or you and a crush. Um, and it does look like it's actually going to create a serious sense of stability 
uh, for you and your family or you and the couple in general. This may actually be a breakthrough for either you or your partner where again we may not be so much available for the next month or two but maybe you're both saving up money to move in together in two months anyway so you know it's worth it and you know and you could do it sooner. In fact the Ace of Pentacles can talk about some kind of windfall coming your way that actually moves something forward up on your agenda. For those of you who are single and looking, the Ace of Pentacles carries a bit of a different energy though. This can talk about a new love opportunity coming your way, yes, but the Ace of Pentacles says it will start slow. This may not be something we want to stampede into an official relationship with, in, you know, because it's not about that. You know, it's about actually planting the roots for something that could turn into a very serious family opportunity down the road, or an opportunity to integrate a long-term partnership. But this, must, this seed must be planted with care. So when we start to get to know this person, take your time. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.